types of XRD analysis. There are basically four types of XRD analysis. But in this video, I will only talk about single crystal XRD and powder XRD. Let me show you the contents for uh, this video. I will thoroughly differentiate between single crystal XRD and powder XRD. You may be familiar from these graphs. This is basically a common pattern every researcher knows and this is for powder XRD. And this spot pattern is basically from single crystal XRD analysis. At the end, I will answer a few questions related to XRD analysis. So let's get started. Single crystal XRD, when we grow a material like this, this is basically single crystal. This is our material. And you can see here that the arrangement of atom is exactly same everywhere. So this is we call single crystal. So once we grow single crystal, for that we need to perform single crystal XRD. On the other hand, once we have material in powder form, powder form means if we have a polycrystalline material, polycrystalline, this means that if you grow a material like this, and in that material we have many crystals there, one crystal in this direction here, and another crystal here you see here, this is another crystal directions, and there is another crystal here you see here and here is uh, another crystal like this so this is basically polycrystalline material so if we have many crystal in a material so we use this technique right the sample must be crystalline or single crystal here as i explained here but here we can use powder form so making powder is easy as compared to making single crystal material this technique yield more information than other XR techniques uh, but it is quite difficult to grow single crystal material. On the other hand, this technique provides less information but it is very easy to produce powder form of any material. The diffraction data is basically distributed in three dimensional space and there is a spots from every diffraction. I will show you here how 3D dimension space. You see here, there is a spot. This spot comes from every direction. You see here, and it is distributed in 3D space, right? On the other hand, the depression data from powder form is basically compressed into two one dimensional, and there is no individual intensity, but each intensity basically overlap and it makes a, a, a peak here. So let me show you here. Uh, for example, uh, as I explained that this the material, the, 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 the powder pump is basically from made from single crystal. There are many crystals. So each peak basically overlap on the top of each other and it make this peak here. You see here? And this is one dimensional. One dimensional means that the, 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 the data is compressed in one dimension. So this is basically the differences between a single crystal and polycrystal. Let's see the applications. Both the techniques provide the same information, but there is a little bit differences. Uh, this single crystal basically determine the position of the atom very precisely. You see here, and it also produce the crystallographic information. Some additional information, the nature of the bonds in bond angle. Now let's come to the powder. The powder basically uh, provide the phase. Pose phase basically mean the polymorphs identifications. I will explain this in the questions below. This space basically means that whether the structure is cubic, whether the structure is monoclinic, monoclinic, or that is basically the path. It also pro, pro, pro do provide the crystallinity of the material, whether the material is single crystal, polycrystal, or amorphous, right? Some unit dimension. The most important thing is basically here, which is not here, is basically the calculation of the crystal size or the grain size or the particle size using Schiller formula. For your information, basically, particle is basically greater or equal to grain, grain, and grain is basically greater or equal to crystallite, right? So all these information, if you want to find the size of the grain, like I, I like, like the grain, I will explain. Grain means that uh, there is a separate crystal in the uh, uh, polycrystalline material. This is somehow grain here. 
like this. This is this is one grain here. This is another grain. This is another grain. This is another grain. You see here. So if you want to find the size, every size, so we have to use this shell formula, right? And strain formation. Now, what is basically phase in XRD analysis? Phase basically is I explained there. It is basically a solid structure like the cubic here. This is this is a cubic structure. And where atoms are basically arranged in three-dimensional structure. This is basically one phase. You see here, example cubic, cubic is a one phase. Tetragonal, tetragonal is another phase. Hexagonal is another phase. Hexagonal. Monoclinic is another phase. Arthrombic is another phase. This phase basically means a crystal. XRD basically provides phase information, right? Now, how to identify the phase in XRD analysis? Very important here. We, when we get this uh, XRD here, so uh, here two things are important. One is the intensity, another is the peak position. So we compare the peak intensity and position with the standard data, and if it matching with their standard data of titania, so we can confirm that this is titania, uh, petrogonal shape. You see here, the diffraction peak position, this peak position is very important, peak position, and intensity in the major excited pattern consider is a finger frame for a given material this is just like we put our fingers and it identifies the humans similarly from the peak position and from intensity we identify which crystal material is this whether, whether it is cubic titania cubic or not and we compare the intensity in peak position with the database in all this data is already stored in this uh, data. Uh, all the information about the material is stored in this database. So we just compare the peak position intensity and from there we say that what phase of uh, this material we have. 